Today we're making a smoky red pepper sauce. What makes it any different than a red pepper soup? <laughs> Absolutely nothing. So feel free to serve it in a bowl with a spoon. But it does go exceptionally well with seafood, so I'll serve mine with seared scallops. Instead of coring my peppers, I prefer to cut the flesh off in four planks. My pepper is a bit wavy, but we'll manage somehow. Line a metal dish with a piece of foil and lay out the pepper pieces skin side up. Put them under the broiler until they are completely black. Isn't that fun when you get to burn things on purpose? How long it takes depends on your broiler and the distance from it. Mine took about five minutes. While the peppers are cooling, let's slice a shallot or a yellow onion and put it in a little pan with a tablespoon of olive oil and a pinch of salt. Cook your shallots of a gentle heat until they are translucent and tender, giving them a stir once in a while. My shallots are soft, my pepper is cool, and we can move to the next step of peeling the peppers. You didn't think I was going to put all that scary black stuff into our sauce, did you? No, that has to go. But it does give the peppers a lovely smoky aroma. Let's sprinkle the peppers with a bit of salt. And add enough water to almost cover them, but not quite. My pepper needed about half a cup, but the amount will vary with the size of the pepper, of course. To amplify the smokiness even further, we'll add some pimenton. That's Spanish smoked paprika. You have probably tasted it before in chorizo sausage. I'm using about a half a teaspoon. Let's set the pot of a medium heat, stir it all together, bring to a simmer, cover, lower the heat to low, and simmer for five minutes or so to help the flavors come together. Dump it all into a blender, add one tablespoon of butter, and a tiny squirt of vinegar. I'm using sherry vinegar, but balsamic and red wine vinegars work well too. Blend it for a good long time until it's completely silky. In a Vitamix, that will probably take about one minute, and in a regular blender, three to five. Return it back to the pot, taste, and correct salt and acidity. If you're not sure whether you need more or not, separate a little portion into a bowl and experiment. Sauces like these add beautiful brightness of flavor and color to your dishes. They also lend themselves nicely to fun plating techniques, which will be the topic of my next video. So, stay tuned, don't forget to subscribe to Helen's Kitchen channel, and if you're ever in the Boston area, maybe I'll see you in one of my classes.